So now it's time to take your sleeve and bind the vent. If you haven't already, cut up the vent line, which will be marked on the pattern piece. When you cut out the vent for your sleeve, just double check that you're doing it on the correct side because it won't be on the left for both pieces because one would have been mirrored when you cut it out on the fold, one would have been upside down. So double check using your pattern piece that the side that you're cutting it out on is the side closest to the back of the sleeve with these double notches here. You can see at the bottom that the vent is much closer to that side than it is to the side with the front sleeve notches. So if we take our first sleeve right side up, we can see that the double notches are here on the left, which means that the vent is going to be on the left. And then when we look at the other sleeve right side up, we can see that the double notches for the sleeve are on the right hand side. So we need to make sure that the pattern piece is put on upside down so that the vent will be on the right hand side. So that way you will have a mirrored image of your sleeve where the double notches for the back of the sleeve are on the same side as the vents. You'll have one on the right and one vent on the left when the fabric is right side up. And that will make sure that you have it on the outside of your wrist on both sleeves and you don't end up with one vent on the inside of your wrist and one with the vent on the outside. And then take your continuous lap piece, one of these, and essentially what we're doing is binding it. So it's going to be almost exactly the same as the neckline binding. It's just that we have to turn this into a straight line. So if you just see, I can just start to open it up and that's how we have our straight line. Now to get all this fabric out of the way, the easiest way is to let this become a triangle pleat. So if you see that I'm just pushing this fabric underneath so it's out of the way, then I can keep my straight line of the vent. And there's no fabric in the way, so I can connect these in a minute. Now once you've formed that pleat, especially if it's a drapey fabric, it might keep coming apart. So you might find it easiest to just throw a pin in there and then a pin in this side. And that's just to hold that fold of fabric in place so that while you're working with the lap, connecting it to the bottom of the sleeve, you don't have to keep adjusting this bit. This stays in that straight line for you. Make sure that the right side of the sleeve is facing up and then you want to take the right side of the lap and put it right side to right side over that straight edge that you've created for your sleeve. So just to make it easier to pin, I'm gonna turn the whole thing around. So here's my triangle pleat, which is just keeping all that bulk of fabric out of the way. And then underneath I have that straight line that I've made with the vent and my continuous lap is going right over top. And I'm going to pin it all the way along, making sure that underneath it always lines up the raw, with the raw edge of the lap. The lap is all pinned to the bottom of the sleeve now and you can see that the raw edges are aligned all the way along, even at the center pivot point. And to sew this, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam all the way along. When you get to this first bit here that has the fold, to avoid there being a tuck in your seam, just before you get to that point, stop and then use your fingers to open up that fold and then continue sewing. And then you're going to continue sewing all the way until you get to this next bit of the fold, stop, open it out, and then continue sewing along. And that way you won't have any tucks or folds in your lap once you're done. 
So the lap is now sewn to the bottom of the vent and you can turn it over and check that there aren't any folds or tucks or anything that you're not happy with. Do make sure you press the lap and seam to the inside of the vent because if you don't it's going to be a lot more difficult to bind the vent. It's going to be a lot easier once you've ironed it because it lays a lot flatter and you have a lot more fabric to easily work with. So now we're going to finish binding the vent and to do that it's the same way we did the neck band but you're going to take it and we're going to bring the raw edge of the lap over to the seam. So you can see <clears throat> the raw edge of the vent is going to be folded up and over to the seam and then we're going to press that all the way along and then we're going to fold it one more time over so now the seam is going to be on the outside and when we look at it from this side the raw edge has been tucked up and in we're going to press that all the way along pin it and then sew it a quarter inch in and that will hold this new folded bit in place. So the lap is now on the vent. It has been doubled over just like we did with the neckband and I've pinned it in place. The seam is running along the edge there and we're going to take it to the sewing machine and from one edge of the vent to the other all along that line there we're going to sew in at a quarter inch which will catch that folded over edge there. 